Hello, this short presentation introduces using EndNote here at the University of Derby. The presentation will cover the following topics. How to install EndNote X9, how to use EndNote X9, how to collect and import references, and also introduce a site while you write feature within Word. There is also a slide giving some links to further help and support at the end of the presentation. So, how to install EndNote X9? At the University of Derby, EndNote is available from the Software Centre, which can be found from the Start menu on any university PC um, or device. If you want to install EndNote X9 on your own device, then please go to Course Resources, either the Staff or the Student View, and click on the Software tab that you'll see on the top menu. You will then be able to install onto your own device a variety of University of Derby provided software, including EndNote X9. Please do be aware that the files come in a zipped format, so you will have to unzip the folder and extract all the files before you can install. It is also a large file, so it may take a while to install. For more information about how to install EndNote X9, please do check the ITS knowledge base, as there are some useful guides to installing the program. Once you have EndNote installed, then it's very easy to use, and this the rest of this presentation will give a short introduction to how you can use the software. Obviously, the more that you use the piece of software, the more that you use EndNote, the more familiar you will become. So this is just to give that basic introduction. So let's have a look at the EndNote screen. So this is how EndNote will open. If you have used EndNote online before, when you start using EndNote desktop version, you will have to sync the two systems. And you can do that through the tools menu that you can see at the top of the screen there. So you will log on with your University of Derby usernames and the password that you have set up for EndNote, and then you can sync the online and the desktop version to get your references, um, pull your references together. So if we have a look at the screen in front of us here, you can see these options down here on the left hand side of the screen gives you um, details about the groups that you have set up within EndNote. And this is a brilliant way for you to organize your references and make sure that you know where references are kept. So you can see here that I've got references, I've got groups related to different topics. What you might want to do is you might want to have a group for each section of your literature review, each section of your dissertation or your thesis. So you can do that, you can set up as many groups as you want and you can put the references related to that particular section in the particular group. You can create new groups by going to the groups menu on the top menu bar here and just click on groups. You can create a group or you can create a smart group and a smart group will search all your references for particular keywords, particular authors and it will pull together all the references that you have related to that keyword that you search for. So if for example in this particular case, if I wanted to create a smart group that contained all the refer references that I had related to online learning, I could create a smart, I could look for, I could create a smart group, I could look for um, the key online learning, and then that would pull together all the references that I have related to online learning. For groups, you can share individual groups, um, or you can share your whole library as well. So that's that menu on the left hand side there. This menu here, the list of references here gives you a brief um, view of your references. You can see where you have an attachment for a particular reference because one of the beauties of EndNote is that you can attach the PDFs of the article that you have referenced to the reference itself. So it's a really good way of pulling together and storing all of your references and the text, the article related to your references. You can see the author, the year, the title, 
And if we just scroll along here, then you can see some more details about that particular reference that you have. So that's a brief view. Over here, you have a more detailed view. So lots of more detail on there and the option to add to um, this brief view as well. So if you wanted to make a particular research note about this particular article, you can add that in this particular menu over here on the right hand side of the screen. You can also see the PDFs that you have attached to the reference. So this reference doesn't have a PDF attached to it. But if I did want to attach a PDF to it, click on the paperclip there. I could browse through my files to find the article, to find the PDF, to link to that particular reference. These search fields here will search your reference library um, as your references are known with an endnote, they're known as a library. So this, these fields here will search your library for particular keywords, for particular phrases, or for articles by a particular author. So that search box there relates to your library. Going across the top of the screen here, you have various options, various menu options. So you can um, connect to an online database and that will um, connect to, the, to a variety of different databases. Some are freely available, others you have to log in with your University of Derby usernames and passwords. You can find the full text of a particular article. So I could find one of my references that hasn't got an article attached to it and then I could search the web for search the internet for the full text document, a freely available full text for full text document for that particular reference. And you can sort of, if you're going along here, we've got a full range of um, different, different menu options there. If you go to the Clarivet, um, Clarivet, the provides men note, if you go to their website, you'll be able to find um, documentation about the menu items within EndNote. And that will go through all these menu items and it will tell you what each, which, what each of the um, options within these menu items means. And then you can sort of find a little bit more detail on that guide. So just to say that everything in the file menu relates to your reference library as a whole and the edit um, menu that relates to individual references um, apart from this output styles option here, which is where you can view, edit, amend the styles that are inbuilt into EndNote. So you can look for a new style or you can use one of the styles that is already inbuilt into EndNote. And you can add to your list of favorites um, the styles that you most commonly use. But you can edit those styles as well. So if you were submitting to a journal and that journal had a style that was based on APA, for example, but with subtle differences, you select APA and then you edit that particular style as well through this output styles menu here. So you have your option to edit that style menu, that style, and give it a new name. So you've got a link there to um, the reference menu, so you can add new references, you can copy your references. And one of the um, great things about this is that you can find duplicates within your EndNote library as well. So once you've got your EndNote library set up, you can go through and you can find duplicates. So it might be useful if you're carrying out any kind of systematic review. We've got the groups menu there, which I've already talked about, and then the tools menu, so those tools related to EndNote, and we've looked at the sync option within that tools menu. Okay, so that's just a brief introduction to the EndNote screen. As I mentioned, the more that you have a look at EndNote, the more you use EndNote, you will get used to those menu options and you'll be able to explore the full functionality. So our next option, our next um, 
topic is about collecting and importing references. And the great thing about EndNote is that you can collect references from a wide variety of different databases and pull them all into your EndNote library. So let's have a quick look at how we do that using Library Plus, the University of Derby's discovery service. So if we go to our library homepage, and we'll do a search on Library Plus. So we'll go to find subject information, and we'll select our Library Plus option there. And then I can put my keywords into the search box. Click search. I'm going to limit my search to academic journals. And then you can export your reference once you have clicked on the title of the article. So let's click on the title of the article, get to that more information screen. And then over here, you have your option to export. Okay, so if we go to export there, if you're using a network, you've got your direct export option. But we're going to do direct export in RIS format, which puts the reference into a format which is readable by EndNote. And we're going to click Save. So that has saved our reference. It's given it the name delivery.ris and it will save it our downloads menu. Okay. We then go back into EndNote and to import a reference, we click on that, and then we need to just search for our, and I can select the file and click open. And then the key thing is that you, where it says import option, you change that to reference manager, RIS, click select on there, and then click import and then it will import that reference into my EndNote library. I will then be able to add the, um, a PDF to that um, reference. So you can see that I've got my imported reference there. I click on the title, click on the reference, you've then got all that detail there. So that's how you can import references into your EndNote library from Library Plus, but if you're using another database, um, then look for that export, that save reference option, and make sure you save it as a RIS folder, and then you'll be able to import it into your EndNote. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our next um, Option, our next um, topic area, and that is cite while you write. So while you are writing using Word, you can automatically insert references into your um, into the text that you're writing, and you can do this by going to the EndNote X9 tab, which will appear in Word once you have installed the piece of software. So you can see on the screen in front of me, the EndNote X9 tab there. And then once you, if you get to a point where you want to insert that citation, you can click on the insert citation, and then you can search for a reference within your reference library. And then you can import that reference in very quickly and easily. It will insert the citation at the point where your cursor is, but it will also insert a reference for that citation at the end of um, your text. You can quickly and easily change the style of that reference by clicking on the style option there. And we can see that in this particular example, it, the style is APA6. Um, but you can quickly and easily amend that style using that style menu. And then that amended style 
will be for all the references and all the citations that you have within your um, within the text of the work that you are doing. The really quick and easy way to do your references to insert your citations within the um, text of any work that you are doing on Microsoft Word. You just look for that EndNote Text 9 tab and then you can work through that insert citation option. There is lots of help and support available. So there is a LibGuide um, about reference management software on the University of Derby library pages. So just click on that find subject information option and then under library services you'll see a link to reference management software library guide under in in the IT on the ITS pages uh, under ITS support you've got a link there to the knowledge base so again that will give you some information particularly about how to install EndNote on your own device and Clarivate the providers of EndNote have some really fantastic guidance on their web pages as well some short videos um, lots of documentation so definitely have a look at that EndNote X9 guide as well Thank you very much for your attention. If there's anything else that we can do to help, then please do email library at derby.ac.uk. Thank you.